Well, good morning. What a beautiful day here in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, my name is Chase Conk. I have the distinct privilege of serving as Vice President and Director of Athletics here at UTRGV. Uh, a few of us were together a couple of weeks ago celebrating the milestone of our, our vote by the UT System Board of Regents. I asked this question then, and I will ask it now. Who's ready for Division I college football in the Rio Grande Valley? The journey that we're on is special. Now, we've talked a lot about that. This is, uh, this is a journey that we get to do as a region, as a community, as a university. Uh, and community is strong. Uh, community is what has led us here today, and there's so many people uh, that we need to thank that made today possible. But we're just getting started. We'll have many milestone moments to celebrate together, uh, but we have to recognize some of the people that got us here. Uh, where are our coaches? We have a lot of our head coaches, assistant coaches, staff. Please raise your hand. How about a round of applause for our current UTRGV staff? The work that these men and women do, their hard work, dedication, uh, the way they treat people. I can tell you this, when you add college football to your athletics department, you better have a good foundation. And we've got tremendous people in place at UTRGV in our athletics program. How about our students? We've got our drum line here. We've got our spear. We've got students here. Today is really about our students. Uh, we had the uh, Edinburgh North uh, Mariachi Band here. How about a round of applause for them this morning for their performance? Future students. But our students spoke last fall. We listened. Today we're acting. And thank you for uh, reshaping and recreating the future of our university and of the Rio Grande Valley. I've got to thank the tremendous people that I have the privilege of working with every day. Uh, we have the greatest group of vice presidents and leadership uh, that any university in the country has. Uh, and that's because of one guy, and that's because of our CEO, Dr. Bailey, who's assembled an unbelievable team. Uh, we've got Dr. Maggie Hinojosa here. Maggie, we made it. <laughs> Dr. Kelly Nassour, Veronica Gonzalez, Dr. John, Dr. Hawker. I think we've got Dr. Jana Arney here as well, our executive vice president and provost, Doug Arney, also part of our leadership team. Uh, we've got wonderful people that we get to work with each and every day. A couple of weeks ago, we announced that uh, through the creation of the Football Founder Society, we have raised over $1.7 million to support the start of Division I college football in the Rio Grande Valley. Thirty-three members are part of this group, and I know we have many of them here today. Uh, so if our Football Founder Society members would stand or raise your hand to be recognized. So we talked about uh, leadership and, and our world-class leadership team that we have here at the university, but we all know it starts at the top. Uh, there's not a better CEO or president in the country than Dr. Guy Bailey. Uh, his understanding of higher education, uh, the impact he's already made on this region through the work at UTRGV, but his understanding of college athletics uh, and the impact that it can have on the student experience, student success, and on a region uh, makes him the perfect leader for our institution at this time. Uh, I think he's the best boss in the world and I'm not just asking for a raise, Dr. Bailey. I truly believe that. Uh, but please help me welcome to the podium our founding president, the leader of our institution, President Guy Bailey. There are reasons you live in the Rio Grande Valley, and today is one of them, right? I mean, this, we ate dinner outside last night. Why would you live anywhere else in the country? Why, why would you? And now... You have intercollegiate division one football. Think about that, yeah. <clears throat> you know, this is, th this is not the easiest thing in the world to create. This is a, a real challenge. We had a tremendous leadership team here and it is a team effort. And uh, Chase has introduced those people here. All of them, it, 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 if we had not had all of them pulling the oar, in the same direction. It would never have worked, but it's here. And you know, uh, I can't tell you how happy I am. Our students will have the same opportunity right here in the Rio Grande Valley that they have in, uh, in Austin, that they have in San Antonio, that they have in Kingsville. It's right here now. They deserve that. All of you deserve that. You deserve the same opportunities, the same amenities every other student has. So this is really for you. And when we introduce a coach, when we talk about what's happening, 
Remember, if you're a student here, this is all about you. And so we deeply appreciate that. We really also appreciate the support of our uh, local elected and appointed officials. There are so many of them, and the sun's so bright, I'm not sure that I can get, but I know we have mayor, we'd stand up, mayor of Edinburgh, city council members, EDC members, would y'all all stand too, let us, because they have been, <clears throat> they have been uh, commissioners, any other elected officials, please, please raise your hand. We appreciate, yeah, your support and your, your help. This is a team effort. <clears throat> it takes the university, it takes the students, it takes the leadership, but it takes the community as well. And that's what's happened here today. I uh, also wanna thank Alonzo Cantu. This is a beautiful facility. This man has foresight. He painted the seats orange, right? When he built the stadium. Is that not vision or is that not vision? <laughs> thank you so much. We appreciate it. <clears throat> In any event, it's a wonderful day. This is part of a dream come true. Uh, so many people have ma helped make this happen. I I've told people, I've been in the Valley now eight and a half years. Uh, it's been the happiest eight and a half years of my life, partly because <laughs> this woman right here, my wife, Val, and so you really deserve a round of applause. <clears throat> but then partly because I have the best job in the world and the best people to work with. So thank you so much. We appreciate your being here. We look forward to seeing you here in the stands, right? Cheering really loudly and rowdily and uh, having a wonderful time. So Chase, I'm gonna turn this back over to you. Thank you. Well, let's get right to it. The reason why we're here today, and that's to introduce our first head football coach. Uh, I'll tell you this, when, when we started this search, uh, we knew it was an important search uh, to find the leader, uh, the right leader for our program. And any time uh, you hire head coaches as leaders of young people, uh, they're always important searches, but this one was unique. Uh, and we knew we needed a certain person, uh, somebody that would bring certain qualities and characteristics to the job. And, uh, and I can tell you, uh, through a great search that had tremendous interest, tremendous interest uh, across the country, uh, we have found the right guy in Coach Travis Bush. I'm going to read you a couple things. Uh, as Dr. Bailey and I uh, put together the profile that we were looking for several months back, uh, we thought to ourselves that if we could check 75% of these boxes, we would be in pretty good shape. Uh, but let me, let me read some of these off to you, and uh, you tell me if we checked uh, a few of these boxes. Uh, number one, we wanted somebody that was a winner. Uh, we, saw, we wanted somebody that had won at the collegiate level, championship success. Uh, number two, we wanted somebody that had coached for and been mentored by good people, high character people, people that were successful. We wanted somebody that had a passion for young people, somebody that cared deeply about their student athletes, had effective ways to communicate and to coach them. We wanted somebody that would be a good fit, somebody that would fit within our department, to, uh, fit within our university community, uh, and certainly fit right here in the Rio Grande Valley. What we have found is somebody, and I, I would say this, if we had a bingo card, the minute we met Travis Bush, we'd have said bingo, I think, Dr. Bailey. I think we would have hit bingo. Uh, what we have in Coach Bush is somebody that's truly a leader. Uh, he has been around some of the best in the business. He's been mentored and coached for some of the best, and that starts right there at home uh, with Miss Ida, his mother, a legendary Hall of Fame coach, Bruce Bush. Uh, in addition to that, his time at TCU with Gary Patterson, uh, his time with Coach Bailiff at Texas State, uh, his time at UTSA, helping start that program in San Antonio. He was the first offensive coordinator at UTSA and a big part of Coach Coker's plan as they started football in San Antonio. He's been a head coach at the high school level, turned around two programs. He's touched it all, uh, even a year with the Buffalo Bills in the NFL. He's been a part of so many programs, rebuilt them, and experienced success. He's coming back home. He's coming back home. His ties here to the Rio Grande Valley. I knew, I knew there were threads. Over the last week, I had no idea you were related to so many people here in the Rio Grande Valley. I think every night that we talked, he said, well, we're family. Murph, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. Uh, and that's just, that's just underscored how beautiful uh, this has been uh, to get Coach Bush back uh, to lead our program. We are in the midst of exciting times. This day, this day we're going to look back and remember for the rest of our lives. It means so much that you are a part of this, to help experience this, 
together because for us to do this, we're going to have to do it together. And Coach Bush is going to need all of our support to lead this program and to have the success that we all want this program to have. Uh, so with all that being said, Coach Bush, D, Ty, Trey, and the entire Bush and Garcia family, uh, we welcome you back to the Rio Grande Valley. We look forward to supporting you, locking arms with you, cheering for you and helping you every step of the way as you lead our program. So ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the podium for the first time ever, the head football coach of the UTRGV Vaqueros, Coach Travis Bush. If that's for 2025 or 25 was actually my number in college that's pretty cool <laughs> you know he he mentioned exciting times um uh and just to hear and not not necessarily my name but head football coach for utrgv is pretty cool and and, and exciting exciting doesn't explain um what what we've been going through my tail hadn't stopped wagging uh, since this past weekend uh but first really thank you uh, thank everybody here for today, taking time out of your busy day to be here and support um, UTRGV football and this university. Um, I do want to start out. I got a long list of thank yous, um, if you bear with me here, but um, bef you know, before we get started. But first off, the, the, the two people I've had the most uh, contact with, obviously Chase Conk, Dr. Guy Bailey. Uh, in the recruiting world, we refer to these guys as five stars. Uh, and, and, and these guys are, are, are studs. Uh, and this this phase in, in my career, this this time, um, it's really about who you work for uh, and who you work with. And it, it did not take long in this process. And I told you that the first time we interviewed, I said, well, I want to work for you. I met with him for an hour. I said, I want to work for you. Uh, and, and, and that's what these uh, the, the caliber um, of people here and as a coach to be successful. And there's a lot of coaches here. You got to have great administration. Uh, and, and this is top notch administration for any level uh, in America right now. Uh, and I'm proud, um, I'm proud to work alongside you. But our, uh, our mentalities are aligned, our, our visions are aligned, our love for the valleys are aligned, and I'm excited uh, to get started because I know I'm going to learn and grow from each one of you. And, and as we got towards the end of the, the, the process and, and, and Chase asked, he goes, hey, do you, you want to do this? Um, and I gave you the, the line from the Jerry Maguire movie. It wasn't show me the money, <laughs> but it was, you had me at hello. I did. I, I actually said that. I, there, I said I was in from day one, but, but I should have, I'm glad I didn't tell him in the beginning, but he went through a great recruiting pen. You're a phenomenal recruiter, which we will need you on the road until we go to full staff, by the way, we're going to, we're going to get you, but thank y'all for your trust. Um, excited to be here. The vice presidents, the administration, athletic administration, our coaches here, um, and, and especially the coaches. Uh, and I've studied, we, our coaches do an outstanding job. We have a phenomenal athletic department. And, and I've got a long list of people right now that I can't wait to meet uh, and get in touch with and connect. And coaches, you're at the top of the list. And I can't wait to, to get with you, pick your brains, learn from you, uh, and find out what you've done to be successful here. Um, and, and thank you for the messages. You know, you, you beat me to the punch. Uh, our, every head coach reached out to me this week, uh, and that was huge. It really meant a lot to, to me and the family, but it, it lets you know what kind of family we're walking in, in here to. Um, again, all the community leaders, people who have who invested uh, early on to get this thing started um, from the beginning. What amazing, amazing support. Uh, and, and thank you. And I look forward. I know I've, I've been calling as many people as I can, trying to introduce myself and, and get to know you. But but thank you. Uh, I look forward to connecting with each of you and our continued partnerships. But, but this isn't possible because of you and the students. Uh, I know uh, there, there's some students here. This is online. There'll probably be more students watching this when they wake up this afternoon. Uh, but hey, can we give the students a hand? This is 
again, you've done this and the impact you've had in this process. We would not be here uh, today without the students. Uh, and, I, and I would just send a message to the graduates today. Um, and, and football is going to be around UTRGV forever, uh, long after my time on this planet. But it, and you started it. Uh, and that's awesome. You look at big time college football around the nation and you look at all the traditions that those teams have, that the students have, and you get the, you get the opportunity to start those traditions. Um, and one day you'll be old like me. You're going to graduate, make a lot of money, give a lot of money back to the university. And then you're going to get to see those same traditions still alive. And uh, again, I can't wait to get on campus, start connecting with as many students. We're going to have free UT UTRGV football shirts to pass out. They're going to say still undefeated on the back uh, for as long <laughs> as long as we can uh, we can keep that up. But it's uh, we're going to get out there. We'll, we'll see you next semester. Um, coaches, administrators, mentors I've worked with, um, learned from who have helped me along the way, been a major impact in my life. I would not be standing here today uh, without them. It, it starts um, with Coach Bruce Bush and, and the biggest influence in my life, not only as a coach, but as a father. Chase mentioned Gary Patterson, uh, late Dick Winder, David Bailiff, the late Jim Wacker, Tom Herman, Brad Wright, Ben Norton, Larry Coker, Tony Levine, Doug Meacham, the late Mike Leach, uh, CJ Cavazos, Anthony Lynn, Rex Ryan, Pete Carroll, Jason Washington, Jeff Trailer, Kevin Brown, Larry Hill, Mike Salinas, Stetson Roan, Andrew Kim, Dustin Davidson, Brad Martinez, Heather Sanders, and every assistant coach I've had the opportunity to work with at Seguin and Canyon. Uh, and Texas high school, high school football coaches, especially coaches here in the Valley. How many, how many high school coaches here today in the Valley? Look at that. And I tell you, just, just seeing some of you guys already, uh, this is extremely humbling for me to be standing up here when I've learned so much from you guys along the way. Um, and thank you. Thank you for being here. And you're going to be a major re resource for everything we do here. And um, you're always welcome in everything we do. Our doors are always open. Let me say, when we build doors, they'll always be open for you guys. But, uh, but you're, you're a huge part of this. And, and we're all in this together. And thank you so much. And we're going we're gonna to need you every step of the way. Um, student athletes uh, that I've been blessed to work with. And, uh, and no coach gets anywhere without great student athletes. And you know, Mike is here. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, but, uh, and, and that's our job as coaches. We're going to continue to bring uh, quality student athletes to this university. I won't say lastly, I'll say mostly my family. Um, mother sitting here, a former Mercedes Tiger cheerleader back in the day. She is coming up on 50 years as a coach's wife. God bless you. She's, she's been blessed in many ways to make it that long. My wife, Dee, sons, Ty, Trey, Dan, Michelle, thank you all for being here. Uh, my wife, Dee, a McAllen Memorial grad. Um, but thank you all for being along the entire journey. And boys, I'm so proud of you. And, uh, and D, you're the rock that, that keeps everything together. I asked her to marry me on South Padre Island. You remember, remember what I told you? So talk about a recruiting pitch. I said, I'm a coach. We're going to be poor. We're going to move around a lot. Uh, but we're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, it's a great way to, uh, for our boys to grow up. And, uh, and we'll get to influence a lot of young men along the way. But uh, thank you for that. Somehow she bought it. So she's still here. But uh, she now refers to me as her little vaquero at home, by the way. <laughs> Which I'm totally fine with because she's referred to me to a lot of things in Spanish before that didn't sound that nice. So. <laughs> but uh, looking back, my first memories, I can remember my first time going to football games. Uh, I was a kindergartner at Carnahan Elementary in Far, and uh, yeah, we got the Red Baron. Is it they still the Red Barons? All right. Yeah. Uh, and father was a head coach at PSJ, and, and I remember going to those games. It's just sold out stadiums, and uh, and people everywhere, and the support, the love for football uh, was evident here at a young age to me. And I remember the the teams would talk trash to each other on on radio dedications. It'd be like Edinburgh. This is from Edinburgh to PSJ. They're going to stomp you tonight. It would be like the Go-Go's. We got the beat or something. And, but the social media of my childhood right there. But, um, 
but it never changed. You know, grew up in South Texas. We come back, we play the Valley teams in the playoffs, and it's just just packed in the same environment. Uh, and then you watch the Valley rally around PSJ North a couple weeks ago, going to uh, to Corpus to play vets, and that, that, that's amazing. Uh, it doesn't happen at any other places. I've, I've coached at a lot of places and from everywhere, from junior high to the NFL. I've never seen any other place with the energy and enthusiasm for football as a real Grand Valley. Uh, and it's important here. And I've said for years, I used to come down here recruiting for years and visiting family. I've always said if the Valley ever got a college football team, holy smokes, watch out. I don't think I said smokes, but it's going to be fun. Um, and now after 40 year, over 40 years of my first football experience to be standing up here as a head coach, it's, um, it's very humbling. I'm honored. I'm proud. I love the Valley. I love the communities. I love the culture. I love the people. And geez, I love football. And it's, it, understand it's not just a job for me. This is an opportunity, the perfect opportunity to come back to a place I grew up, to come back to a place I love and give back and give back to the communities here and be a part of history. And, and I just want to thank the entire Valley for that. For those counting, we were exactly 987 days away from kickoff. Um, it, uh, it seems like a long way off. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do, but we're going to blink. We'll blink. It'll be August 30th, 2025, and we'll be right here uh, kicking off the summit. I don't know who yet. That might be on the agenda of tomorrow's meeting, but we're going to be kicking off to somebody, you know, mainly because I like to defer and start to set the tone of the game with defense first. I see JJ nodding over there, the defensive guys. But uh, as of today, UTRGV football is officially on the clock. And, uh, and we've got a lot of work to do. It's going to be a tremendous challenge, um, having done this before, but we're going to continue to rally the Valley. Uh, but what you're going to see, we're going to maximize every minute of the next 987 days. We're going to get in these communities. We're going to connect. Uh, we're going to build our brand. You're going to see us start to build a staff. Uh, we're going to build facilities. And then we're going to build a team. Uh, and we get to that point, we're not going to stop. We're going to keep growing. We're going to keep building, just like this great university, just like the Valley. Uh, and again, this is bigger than football. Today's bigger than football. Uh, we're going to expand this great university. We're expanding our already successful athletic department. But it's right there in the name, UTRGV, Real Grand Valley. This is the Valley's university. This is the Valley's team. Uh, and, and this is you. And, and those same five letters, UTRGV, unity, trust, respect, growth, vision. It's right there in the name. That exemplifies the Valley. That exemplifies this great university um, and the athletic department. And those of you on board, let's go. And, uh, and if you're not, get in, let's go. Uh, we need you. We need every resource possible. Uh, and whatever you have, support, time, money, could be even a dollar. Uh, we need it. Could be a post, could be a retreat, whatever, a retweet, whatever, whatever you have to offer. Um, we need it. But again, this is your team. Because uh, before you know it, in about 600 days, you're going to have a football team on campus practicing. Uh, and that's going to make this thing a little more real. Um, and, um, and football will be coming. Uh, once we get a team on campus, uh, we have three program goals that will never change. Uh, goal number one, we're going to graduate young men from UTRGV. Uh, that's, that's the promise we're going to make to recruits, uh, to their parents. <clears throat> we're going to make that promise to recruits in their, in their living rooms, and that's our job as coaches and teachers to get engulfed in every aspect of their life to ensure that happens. Program goal number two, develop successful men. Uh, we don't just want to graduate athletes. We want to graduate leaders in the community good husbands, good fathers, bosses. Uh, there's so much out of our control uh, with coaches when it comes to wins and losses, but what we do control, we control what we model and teach these young men on a daily basis. You're gonna hear us say 40, not four. Uh, we're not just coaching these young men to be successful for four years. We wanna, we're coaching them to be successful for the next 40 years. Um, the, the, the same discipline, accountability, mental toughness uh, that it takes to be successful in life um, it's funny, those are the same characteristics it takes to be successful on the football field and to win football games. Goal number three, compete for championships. Uh, we understand that we're in a, it's going to be a process. Uh, this is a marathon, not a sprint, but at some point of a Kettles football team is going to be competing for championships, just like our sports already do at UTRGV. Um, but before we compete for championships on the field, we got to be champions in the classroom. We got to be champions in the community and we got to build those championship habits. Uh, and we're going to do it one day at a time. 
uh, just like we're going to take the next 987 days, one day at a time, we're going to take this team one day at a time. And our, in fact, our success model is how to win today. And um, we're always going to compete and find ways to win each day at a time. We start winning one day at a time and start tacking, stacking great days on top of great days. You're going to look up and we'll be champions on the field. But for us to be champions on the field, we need everybody. Um, again, having done this before at UTSA and now to come in and look at this plan, this is set up to do it better than anyone has ever done it, done it before. Um, and the first thing we've got, uh, the first thing we can compete on right now, we're going to win today. Uh, day 987, we're going to win today. The first thing we can compete today, season tickets go on sale today. We got season tickets on sale today. Again, we're the Valley. If we're going to do something, we got to do it big, right? And, uh, you know, to do this better, how, how many tickets can we sell before we kick off? Um, that's huge. What can we compete in? Um, every seat, look around, every seat in this place matters. So if you can just look around and visualize this seat, this stadium packed, uh, and it, it matters. Every seat matters on set. For us to win on Saturdays, it takes everybody. We need to be loud when they have the ball. We need to be quiet when we have the ball, but we need to make this an absolute home field advantage, but that doesn't happen without these seats full. It takes everybody to win on Saturday. It's not the head coach. It's not the 90 guys on the sideline. It is everybody in this stadium. And for us to do this thing right in the next 987 days, we need everybody involved. Um, we need to, we need to see, see if we can sell this thing out before we even kick off. But we're going to win today. We're going to wake up tomorrow. Uh, there's going to be 986 days left. Uh, and we're going to win tomorrow. And we're going to keep winning until we kick off on uh, August 30th, 2025. But I'll leave you with this. Right now, there's 130 teams in FCS Division I football. There's another 131 in FBS. Uh, we're going we're gonna to open up uh, in a conference with 10 teams in 2025. So today, December 15th, 2025, I guarantee you there's 10 teams that know the Valley has football. Pretty soon, there's going to be about 130 teams that know the Valley has college football. And one day, the entire country is going to know the Valley has college football. Um, and that's going to be that's going to be fun. And I just I do. I want to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your team. Uh, this is your team. And like I said, you had me at hello. I'm all in. We're going to rally the Valley, baby. You get your orange on, and let's make this the best it's ever been. V's up. Thank you. <clears throat>